Good morning, sunset. Today we learned a wedge. So I've already put my clay through the pug mill and you want to get enough that you can kind of wrap your hands around it. If it's too small, it'll be difficult to wedge. So <clears throat> might start out with just kind of compressing the clay a little bit. So it's in one lump. And then I'm going to hold it with the palms of my hands. See, no fingers. It's the palms that are taking hold of it. I'm gonna lean my body weight down into the clay. <clears throat> you can even see my little palm prints right there. Then I roll the clay up onto its tippy toes. And kids often will roll it the wrong direction, so it's towards the belly button on the tippy toes. Palms back in action, the top of the clay. Squeeze in a little bit like you're clapping like a seal. Lean down into the clay towards the belly button. So it's palms, lean, tippy toes. Palms, lean, tippy toes. And you're probably asking why? What, why do I have to do this? <clears throat> well, the clay's been mixed, but it still has quite a few air bubbles in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we wanna get it compressed nice and tight so that we get that elasticity, that pliability that we love so much. So my rule of thumb is do this 50 times. Ceramics too. It's your job today to find people making mistakes. So here's the most common mistakes. I already talked about rolling it away from you instead of up onto the tippy toes. Another one is that instead of keeping the, the palms in kind of a clapping position, people tend to roll over and on top instead of keeping it on the sides. Well, the problem with that is we've now created this little skinny part, and then when we roll that back in, do you see how we're trapping air inside of there instead of getting rid of it? So we gotta readjust palms. Keep those palms on the side. If your clay starts to stick to the table, you can just move to a dry spot. Mine's not too bad, though. So what we're looking for is kind of a weird duck monster. Should have spirals for the horns on the side. A little kind of weird nose and mouth. And you can even see right there one of the air bubbles popping. So that is why we were doing this. So look for palms on the sides, not on the top. Look for rolling it towards the belly. And then just look for kind of the right amount of pressure. Now, Ceramics 2, I know you're shy about wanting to talk to strangers and help them, but think of it as your good de deed for the day. Remember how awkward this was when you were learning it, and you needed help too. All right, guys, let's wedge.